everybody. Okay, so what I did first was I picked a picture and I cut it, um, I printed it out and then I cut it and it's about four and a half inches wide by just under three inches high. Um, this is the full size guy. The coloring's a little bit different from my computer to my printed picture. So I'm gonna be going back and forth, looking at both colors and trying to get something in between. Unfortunately, I'm having some issues with running low on some of my colors and with Hobby Lobby now closed, it's a little more challenging. So what, I'm in, what I started with was I'm gonna make the ears, which as you can see, that's too dark. What I did was I mixed the pink and then I mixed some purple because to me that's kind of a, a pinkish purple color. If you look at the screen it looks a lot more pink so I'm I'm gonna go with something that needs to be lighter and it needs to have a little more kind of a almost grayish color in it so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put a tinge of black in there and I'm also I mean a very small amount of black and then also I'm gonna put some white in there to lighten it up now here's the trick that I haven't learned yet is judging how much clay I'm going to use what I've been doing is simply taking a piece of clay I put it kind of a block over the area I need so I feel like you know I'm gonna need at least twice that much because normally I try to make my canes about an inch and a half tall so this is just over an inch and a half so that gives me an idea so I feel like twice this much which this is like one ounce here would be enough to do both because not only did I mix it, but now I'm gonna have to lighten it up with some white. I'll probably end up with a little bit more than I need, but it's okay because I'm pretty sure I'll be using that color in a future project. So right now I'm gonna go mix this a little bit more, like I said, a very small amount of black and some white and see if I can get this lightened Before up. I some. put it through the pasta machine, what I'm talking about is a really small piece of black, like a thin, thin slice of black. And honestly, that may end up being too much black, but we'll take it from there and see. And now I'm gonna add about a good ounce of white to this. My mixed pinkish, purplish, grayed out color. So if you can see all these white streaks in there, I got some white clay um, and it's super old, I guess, and crumbly and it's, very difficult to work with but I kind of like this mixed look it almost gives it like a blended look so I think I'm gonna leave it like that and we're gonna see hopefully I won't regret it but we're gonna see what it does anyway now that I got the purple and I'm pretty sure I have way more than I need at this point but that's okay now next I'm gonna go on to mixing up some of these blues and try to get this kind of blue with a tinge of green color. So I'm thinking of mixing these two blues together, um, these two here and here, and uh, then we'll see what happens. Back with the blue. So I mixed the blue. Um, this is for the lighter blue face. It's a little bright, but I think it's gonna be okay um, when I have the other colors with it because that one's gonna mix well with it. So if I kind of hold it over the face, and it's about twice as big as it should be. So if I fold it over again, it probably mostly cover the face, but as you can see, I don't really have to cover that much. So I feel like this should be about enough blue. Now I'm done with that one. Um, in order to get the nose, which is a darker blue, and again, I don't have the right color, so I'm having to mix and match, and uh, makes it a, takes a little longer. I had some of this left over actually from when I did um, Eeyore last week, but I don't think it's quite enough. So all I've got left to work with is a little bit of this blue, which is gonna make it a little brighter, but I think it's kind of okay because this is a slightly brighter blue than that one is, so I guess we'll just keep with the bright theme. And I'll be back after I mix Pretty those. Quick. So I'm back with the nose. It's all done. I think it should fit pretty well. Sorry, I'm not trying to block the whole thing. Like I said, I'm new at this, so um, it's about the right height. And we still have to put the little black nostrils in there. So I think we'll be okay with that nose. And I think it makes a good color blend with the blue. Now, next on the list is the light blue. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with. So I've got this dark blue and I've got a little tiny bit of this, the like the aqua kind of color. And I'm gonna mix though just mm, maybe half of this what's here. So, um, about three quarters of an ounce, I guess. And then I'm gonna 
mm, if I need to go with a little bit of more of a turquoise color, I might throw a little bit of this. This is Sculpey, which is not my favorite. But like I said, uh, beggars can't be choosers. And right now, I don't have a whole lot of options. What I'm going to have to do to make it lighter, of course, yeah, I think I'm going to have to use a little bit of this. But what I'm going to have to do to make it a whole lot lighter is not use too much of this blue and use a whole lot of the white. It's going to take me a little bit because, as I told you before, that's an awful white that I have. And it's uh, Cato Clay, Cato Clay, whichever way you call it. But, man, it is some kind of dried out. So, I'll be back. So, before I mix it up, I just wanted to show you the... Um, how much of each one I took. So that's about, I don't know, what do you think? Three ounces, two ounces maybe. And then here I took a little bit of that green, a little bit of that uh, light turquoisey color, and then majorly dark blue. I'm gonna mix this all together and see what we come up with. I'll let you so know. So I have the first part of the white added in. I still have more to add in, but as I'm looking at it, it's looking a little bit too blue to me, so I'm going to go back over here to this light green and add another slab of that back. It. So I think we have all the colors now. Um, I have two piles of black here. I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to need, but I don't think it's going to take quite this whole one to do the, the two eyes and even the nostrils, but it's probably going to take more than that to do all the outlines because all of this has to be outlined in black and this could be overkill but like i said i'll always use it for something else the white is way overkill because all we need is the two whites of his eyes and that's not going to take anything at all so i just grabbed a little bit of white um the first thing we're going to do i think we're going to start with the ears because uh, that seems to be from the outside in and that that looks to be about one of the easiest things um last time i did one i started from the top and worked my way down and then i got to the ears i used to actually do the eyes and the nose first but then what happened with i'll just show you my totally screwed up marie is that by the time I got to her face, her eyes and nose were way too small. And instead of redoing them, I guess I didn't really see. Anyway, so it really threw off the whole perspective. But I think I am gonna start with the ears. So first I'm gonna grab some pink and roll it and see if I can shape it into this. And I'll be back when I have that about shape. First I cut this piece of purple in half just to make it a more, more manageable size. Uh, like I had said earlier, I try to do them about an inch and a half high so I'm just going to give it a little extra and I'm going to cut right here maybe an inch and three quarters and that gives me this first piece to work with um, that gives me an idea when I fold it over what I'm working with here and if it's going to fit looks to me like it's going to be pretty close so I'm going to manipulate it a little bit to make it more look more like that shape and then I'll be back to show you what that looks of like. how I'm shaping this let me see if I can get the light on a little bit better um so I kind of put it over the area I'm shaping but I can see it's too thick here it needs to be thinner there and I need to come to a little bit of a point so that gives me an idea and I'm going to go shape that up and then come back and show you what it looks I'm like. back now if you look straight over here looks pretty close you can see that um stuck to it a little bit that right there that's that's a pretty close fit and then when we come around hmm looks like it might just be a tiny bit bigger than i wanted to when i'm looking at it again so i'm gonna trim it down right here along the edges and if also you see, they've got that little indent in it. So I'm gonna cut out a little triangle groove all the way up here, and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. I'll show like. you real quick. Um, I feel like that's right there is at a pretty good angle. It'll still allow me to put a little bit of blue on that side of it. If you come around here, you can see it's pretty much right on top of it. And what I did was I put scored three little lines so I know exactly where my triangle is. And you can see that it, only goes about mm, maybe 40% of the way through the that part of the ear so I'm gonna cut that and then come back I'm back with my thin piece of black um, just to show y'all I put a piece here and then I'm gonna flip it over 
cut it to where I need to cut it off and then it'll be on that piece. So I'm going to do that and I'll be just right note back. Two things really quick. When I was folding it over for the size, I left a little leeway on this side when I was measuring so that I could take this and press it down. So I took, actually, I took this weird looking tool and I just pressed it down because it wouldn't cut through it and it would push it down. So that worked however just to show you that i uh screw up regularly um i cut it a little bit short because it was behind me and i couldn't really see it so i'm just going to get a really thin slice put it on top of there and smooth it out and, and you'll never know the difference. piece of the puzzle is complete now we just have like i don't know what 30 more <laughs> all right this is a long process i'm really sorry about that but that's the only way that i know how to do this so second, now we're gonna work on this part of the blue for his ear. And what I'm gonna do is take one piece and I'm gonna fit it on this side. And then I'm gonna take another little piece before I actually push it onto here. And I'm gonna try to make this little piece and then I'll push it on here and then wrap that part in black. Okay, I'll be there I am back with the first little piece. So that's the first section of the first piece. I feel I'm not gonna push it all the way on there yet, but I feel like we're pretty close with that. Um, whoops, sorry. If you look at that, you can see it goes pretty much right to there. And whoopsie. Put it right back to here. Put our little piece up. Now we just need a little triangle to fit in that other spot. Actually, it's a little bit longer than a triangle. It's kind of like th that. So we're gonna make that little piece and then come back and see what we have. Okie dokie, and just like that, we have one ear completed. <laughs> uh, now off to the next ear. So not so bad, right? And that's just how you do it. And it's a slow process, but it's literally just building one piece at a time. Okie dokie, we're moving on to ear number two. I grabbed another piece, a big block. I think it's gonna be a little bit too much, which is fine. So I'm going to smoosh it down again, just like I did the other side. I'm going to taper this side down, just squish it down to that end there. And then I'm going to taper this side a little, making sure this side's fat enough. And when I have something that I think looks pretty close to that, Here's I'll be back. I want to show y'all. So as you can see um, here, actually we're working on this here right now. So as you can see right here, it gets kind of pointy. And in order to get a really good point like that, I just shave down. Ooh, that didn't do very good. Tough with one hand though, I'll tell you. Just shave down that. And when you pull that and look at it sideways, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty thin. So that was just a little tip I wanted to show you. I'm still working on making it look like that. Alrighty, I'm back with what I think is a pretty good purple shape for the ear. So just like the other one, I'm gonna completely cover it with black, making sure I leave a little extra space when I'm measuring it to make sure that I can push this in without cutting it. And then after this is wrapped in black, I'll be back and we can work so on this. Now blue. I'm back. I've got the, the purple part wrapped in the black. And what I decided to do was make sure that triangle didn't lose its shape. I decided to go ahead and put some of my translucent in there. And I also did it on the one we're finished just because sometime when you're manipulating it and moving it around, uh, it can tend to lose some shape and I'm trying to keep it the best shape we can. So we're in the same sp position we were before with the blue. So we're gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna make this blue piece first and then uh, put a little piece of black on the edge of it. And then I'm gonna come around this side and we're gonna add this little blue piece and then put black on the outside edge of it. And then I'll be back to show you what this finished ear looks like. Alrighty, I'm back and just like the first ear, now we've got the second ear completed. So look at that, two ears done and all we have is that little old head in the middle. Um, I think I'm gonna start this one a little bit differently and I'm gonna make these eyes first and then I can build around them to fill in to do the rest of this area. So next I'm gonna do the eye. I'm gonna start with a little tiny bit of white. I'm gonna surround it with the black and then I'm gonna do the light blue. So let's get the white We're back. back. First eye is made. 
And just to go over what I did, um, I shaped it up to the shape of the eye. And then I basically cut out a little piece of the black and inserted the, the white for the pupil. And then I just covered over it with a thin piece because if you can see, it's really only a thin piece around the edge. So first eye is completed. I'm gonna go and do the second eye the exact same way. And then we'll be back and work on the light blue area around the eye. Both the eyes made. The next thing we're gonna do is take some of the light blue. Now what I've gone and done is, I think the easiest first thing would be to, to wrap around, completely around the blue, make one layer, and make it the thickness of this area here. So I measured it out and I felt like it was pretty much a three. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that well. Pretty much a three on my pasta machine. So I'm gonna wrap each of the eyes with this and then we'll come back. I'm back. So I covered it with blue. Well, I can actually covered both of them, but just to show you, it's covered with blue. So this area now is completed and right there. So if you hold it over there, uh, let me see if I can do this right. Uh, yeah, like that. Basically just like that. When you look above it, you'll see that there's some blue up there, there's some blue on here. So what you're gonna wanna do is make little sections of it. Um, so like thinner, just basically the way you made this kind of section here, you're gonna make sections just thicker and thinner just to fill in and keep adding to it until it fills in the whole area. And then we're gonna also wrap that with black. So let me see if I can get the first one done and then I'll show you what I'm talking and about. Here we are back with one completed eye. Looks pretty close, I think, right? All I did was stuff a little extra here, stuff a little extra there. And um, I mean, don't worry if you see any lines like that. I'm sure seasoned people who have been doing this for a while know. But when, once you start reducing this cane, you all that's gonna be compressed and you won't see any of those extra lines. So you don't need to worry about that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye and then we can start on his head. Be back in a chip. Now that we have both of the eyes completed and wrapped, I decided that I'm gonna do the nose next because the nose knows. Anyway, it's been a long day. Um, so what I did was, is I shaped it pretty much just like his nose is shaped here. And then I took, um, actually I've been using the end of a paintbrush because it seems to work well for me. I don't have any kind of knitting or crochet type needles, but anyway, whatever you have works. And I made two little indentations. So I'm going to go and then fill them with some black and then I'm going to wrap the nose and then we'll be back. Alrighty, he's got two eyes, he's got a nose, and now I have him turned upside down because this is the area that we're going to work on. So the best way to do this is, sorry, I'm trying to make it where you can see. So I'm going to fold put that down. Here we go. All right, so where that's where the nose was. Now you're going to see there's this two lines. So like his uh, forehead lines. So the way we're gonna do it is I'm gonna put a piece, I'm gonna guess that's around, that's gonna be on like maybe a two through the pasta machine. And I'm gonna put one piece from here to here of the dark blue, which is right here. I'm gonna put one piece of that and I'm gonna put it over the nose. And then I'm gonna take a small piece of black and I'm gonna put it and then I'm gonna go over and get another one, and this looks like maybe a four, because it's it's pretty small. I'm gonna put that over it, and then put another piece of black, just a little bit. And then I'll be back and I'll show you what we got going on. And we're back again. All right, so, I don't know if you can see, but I've got the two lines. I ended up using it on a one uh, for this first line, for this first area, but I think it should have probably been on a two. And the next one I did on a four, which I'm I'm pretty happy with that one. Okay, if you look really closely right there, you'll see a little tiny line there and a little tiny line halfway there. So my next deal is gonna be maybe on like a five or a six. I'm just gonna put two thin little blue lines here and here, cover that all the way down with the blue. 
and then put two tiny little black lines there and then I'll be back again and we'll go from there. I put in on top of here the two little spots plus the little black lines so we have those two lines. Now all that's left is to fill in this extra blue spot till you get to the top and then we're going to add up three little sprouts for his hair and then we can cover this whole top half, the rest of it, the eyes were already covered, but we can cover the rest of it in black. Finished filling out his head and I made his little sprouts of his hair. Before I go on to fill out the bottom like around his mouth and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and pack in some more translucent so that those stay in place and they don't get smushed down when I try to, to do the bottom. And then we'll come back and we'll start working to fill in this little bit of blue here before we start his mouth. So here we are with the whole top half done put together. All we have left is the bottom half of his face and his mouth. Um, so the next thing to do is just, we're just going to put a little bit of the blue around here. And then, um, then it's going to be the light blue. So I'm just going to fill in with the darker blue all up in here. And then try to put the little lines in for his little smile lines. Because what I'm going to do is put the blue, and then I'm going to put a line of black. And then I'm going to go here with it, and then put blue to start down here. But actually what I'm going to do, no, that's not true. I'm going to do the blue here, and then I'm going to put the black only to here. With the little piece coming down. And then it's going to be the light blue, and then we'll finish it off with the dark blue around the mouth. Okay, here we go. This has been the longest day ever. When you're doing the blue across here, my recommendation is to do it in two halves, then put the little black slit down here, and then do the other half. Okay, I just want to show you all this first so you get a better idea. I did the first half in blue. I think this is the front. I don't even know which way was the front way anymore. But I did the first half in blue, and then I took it, and if you can see, I put a little black strip so that when I put the other piece, it'll match right up on there. Um, leave yourself a little leeway so you can shove some of the blue in this crevice right here. And then go around to the side of the eye with the blue. Alrighty, so there we've got the two blue together. I just need now some triangles here, 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 and here. And then we'll put the black here for the mouth. And then we can do the light blue part. And we are getting so close to being finished. This is probably the longest I've ever taken to do one of these. Had no idea how long it takes to put a tutorial together. All right, hang in there, guys. I'm trying to as well. We're starting to build the blue, the light blue in here. See, we stopped here at the smile and here at the smile. When we come back and we do this final dark blue part, um, we're gonna do just like we did earlier, do one little piece around the light blue and then put that little bit of a, uh, the rest of the smile there. So first I'm gonna start with just building up this first section here so that I can add his little mouth smile thing, I guess close to the end. There's the blue, there's the last little smile. We're gonna fill this light blue in and I don't know, I guess I cut his chin off a little bit when I did the um, cut off from his body because I don't do bodies because that would take 100 years. Um, anyway, I'm gonna fill this blue in and then put black around it and then we'll do the final dark blue and then attach the ears and oh my gosh, we'll be done. All the light blue is on. Now I'm just gonna go around here just from the black line, whoops, to the black line here and I'm just gonna cover it with the black. And then I'm gonna be able to put down little tiny smile lines. Variants for all of us. So I did have, ooh, that's another oops. I'm gonna have to cover that blue up real quick. But I did realize another oops. Um, the light blue was not supposed to go all the way to the end of the line. So I pushed it back just a little bit and I added a little bit of the smile line right there, as you can see, because if you look here, it definitely goes out into the dark blue and then comes down. So I had to readjust for that. But the light blue portion is done. 
And now we just have to go with the dark blue around here, put the ears on and then finish them up. Okay. I put the last two blue pieces on here and here. I put the smile line going down on the edge of each one. And now if you look at this picture, you can see I didn't actually cut it off. The reason it's like that is because it goes straight down to his belly. So I started looking at other pictures of him online and it seems as though his bottom of his face is just this color. So I think I'm going to just take the rest of this blue and taper it off to about here, really thin from there to really, really thin, cover that with black. And then that's going to be the bottom of him. And nearly eight hours after I started this whole project, I think Stitch is done. Now, all it has to happen is for me to pack him. So there's a couple of things. Um, this looks kind of cruddy, uh, I'll admit. But when you have to um, reduce it, you're going to lose the ends anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. It's going to be pretty much cut away. But by the time you get down to it, you should see all the lines properly. Um, the other thing is I'm a little concerned because I was having so much difficulty with the white that was breaking up that I decided to use some of my original Sculpey white, which is super squishy soft. And I'm really worried that it's going to make this reduction a problem. But that being said, uh, I am going to put all of the translucent that I have in here, make it kind of boxy and then start reducing it. And then uh, I'll give you all a picture of what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for hanging with me. This was my uh, first real video and it probably kind of wasn't the greatest, but uh, I'm giving it a shot anyway. Thanks. This is Colleen. All right, here we go. He's finished. He's stuffed with translucent and that's some scrap translucent there. That's why it's got a little bit of a color to it, but I figured it'd be fine since we're just going to cut it out anyway. Um, now all that's left is to reduce him and um, hopefully he comes out great. Thanks for sticking with me today. We've enjoyed this and um, I'll try to show you what it looks like when it's reduced. Right, I'm back with the final wrap up. So there's the reduced canes. All in all, not too bad. I think it's okay. They're not perfect, but I think it came out pretty good. Um, once you, I cut away, when I cut away all this scrap stuff, it really will look a lot better. But all in all, I'd give it a, I'd give it a thumbs up. So in wrapping up, the dark blue cane, um, the I mean the dark blue clay, we that's pretty much a good exact amount. That that not much left over. The light blue, man, we have a ton left over of that. And then this pinkish purple, a little bit too much of that too. However, I'd rather have more left over than not because um, in previous projects that I've worked on, I've run out. And let me tell you, it's next to impossible to try to make the colors to match exactly the same. So. The, the last thing that I do is I take the leftover scraps when you cut off the ends of the canes with the parts that are bad that you can't use, and I swirl them together and I make one of these. Um, I just think they're really cool. There's a lot of different uses for it. Um, right now, I've been working on redoing my kitchen knobs in my kitchen, obviously. Uh, and what I do is I use that around the sides. So it's a color combo. So in the front, you have the slice of the cane with the actual character, and then around the side to fill it in, you've got the coordinating colors. I've used them for other things. I make pens, um, different projects. But anyway, that's what I do, and I just like to see how all the colors come together. I hope you all have enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something. Um, give it a shot. Basically, it's just a puzzle putting together the pieces. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.